the next presentation is from uh, Stefan Wendlot, uh, who is a R&D project manager uh, for photovoltaics at uh, Photovoltaic Institute Berlin, also known as PI Berlin. Um, he will talk uh, about the indoor characterization and reliability investigations on shingle modules as part of the contribution towards the highlight project. Uh, Stefan, the floor is yours. Okay, then hello everyone. Um, I'm starting to share my screen. Okay, you should see every um, the screen now. Sharon, could you confirm that, please? Yes. Okay, then, um, okay. Um, yeah, hello, I'm Stefan. Um, I'm uh, with PI Berlin. Pierre Bergman is partner uh, at the Highlight Project and um, uh, their PI Berlin, or I'm responsible for the work package characterization and modeling of PV modules. And yes, uh, today I will present the results of the indoor characterization and uh, reliability investigations on shingled um, um, PV modules. Um, yeah, the outline of the presentation is I'm starting with a motivation on shingled PV modules and then uh, I um, introduced uh, the test items, the properties, uh, followed by the test sequence and uh, the results. And um, yeah, I closed the uh, presentation with a summary. Um, Shingled PV module technology, the motivation uh, we have here is uh, there is no space between the solar cells. It's lead free uh, due to using electrical conductive additives, cushion short ECAs. Um, the shingled modules have the potential to reach high cell to module um, efficiencies um, and it allows more creativity by engineering the electrical layout. Um, the current uh, cell um, wide is one fifth, so we cut the cells in uh, five pieces. In R&D, um, the target is there to uh, go to smaller sites, so one sixth or smaller to that. Um, yeah, the, the current uh, shingle cell have an overlap of uh, one millimeter in R&D. Our target there is uh, go um, to 0.5 millimeters or below that. Um, the applied cell cut technologies is the laser, uh, the thermal laser separation and uh, lasering cutting. And, uh, but we have an unknown effect uh, due to the cut edge recombination and uh, today, um, I will uh, show the, our results on the studying um, the shade tolerance of shingled PV modules with different electrical layouts and uh, show the results on our uh, thermal mechanical stability on the, the commercial shingled PV modules. Um, for testing that, uh, we organized uh, uh, five um, commercial shingled PV modules, so brand A, B, C, D, and E. Um, all the panels have a PV max uh, higher than uh, 20, uh, 320 watts per peak. And um, the front end all has that three or 3.2 millimeters uh, glass with an IRC coating. Um, for brand E to D, uh, the encapsulation material is unknown. For E, it's uh, EVA. Um, all panels um, have um, uh, monoperc solar cells uh, in their modules. The, uh, the cells are cut in one fifth. And uh, we have different interconnections at brand A. Um, we have a serial parallel connection, uh, the same for brand D. And for B, C, and B, C, and E, um, we have a serial parallel serial connection. What that means, I will show you on the uh, one of the following slides. Uh, the back end um, of all panels were a classic back sheet where um, um, brand D has a white back, uh, back sheet where all the other ones have a black um, back sheet. The, from the module side, it's uh, one uh, by 170 square meters or 160. So it's, a, I would say it's a, a general um, size. 
Um, now we come to the electrical layouts of the module. So the brand uh, A and D, we have such vertical strings, which means here we have um, yeah, all salts in one string. Um, but um, uh, in all that things, we have uh, three uh, bypass diodes integrated. So um, here one bypass diode is, um, um, yeah, let's say blocking uh, 21 cells and the second um, uh, uh, block it's uh, 24 cells and then um, uh, 21 cells again. Uh, the brand B and C, uh, the horizontal string modules, um, there we have um, two blocks, one and two. Um, within that uh, block, we have um, five um, yeah, vertical strings. And uh, in one of that string, um, we have 30 four strings, um, what is quite challenging because um, for the bypass diode uh, in case uh, one of the cell is uh, blocking at the brand E. Um, we have four blocks. So one, two, three, four. Uh, within that blocks, um, we have one, two, three, four, five um, cell blocks. Well, um, those are in parallel. And in one of that cell strings, um, uh, there are um, 18 cells. That's, uh, on this slide, you see the applied test sequence. Um, we started with initial characterization like power measurements, the low light behavior, electrolumescence at RSC. Uh, the next uh, test was the um, um, shade the modules with a mask um, and different positions and check what's the power output. Quite interesting uh, because we have that um, three different uh, electrical layouts. And we have the um, yeah more the reliability part. This is uh, the bending test. So we applied a force, um, uh, a point force uh, to the center of the module, and uh, uh, we sum up with a maximum bending uh, of 10 to 30 meters. That um, test was um, uh, assisted by uh, power measurements and EL. Uh, um, um, measurements. Um, the next step was applying the um, mechanical load test, so which means five times two uh, thousand four hundred uh, Pascal and one uh, one time uh, five thousand four hundred Pascal to um, yeah to simulate the um, wind load or the node load. Also here, um, uh, before and after that, we um, uh, grabbed the um, STC data as well as the electrolumescence um, image. And um, yeah, the last step was uh, apply four times TC um, in the timer chamber, which means tested, um, uh, test the modules at uh, minus uh, 40 degree up to um, plus uh, 85 degree. And yeah. Um, after a, a cycle of um, TC100, we did um, uh, the STC measurement as well as the um, uh, electroluminescence uh, image. Um, in the next slides, I'll show you the, the data or the results from the lab characterization. Uh, again, the initial characterization and the uh, Tmax at different um, shading situations. Um, on this slide, you um, see the um, the read light behavior relative to the uh, P, uh, to the thousand watts per square meter um, of all the brands we tested four modules um, and here is the um, yeah the average shown uh, the good thing um, all the um, uh, read light behavior of uh, of the four modules per brand they are in the same um, range so uh, which means um, a relative um, homogeneous quality in the cells and uh, but we see we have two groups uh, one group um, is that was here which has a nice um, um, this curve with a higher low light performance in that case it was the brand c and uh, all the other four um, brands there were in that group um yeah uh, what does it mean on the performance side? So we uh, integrated our, uh, the data we received in uh, PVSYST and simulated uh, the energy yield uh, for Berlin, Germany, as well as for Sevilla and Spain. 
Um, in Berlin, we have a diffuse rate from more or less uh, 50 percent. In Seville, uh, we have a diffuse rate of 20 percent. Uh, and um, yeah, the first point we noticed is um, yeah the the temperature related losses is this. Um, um, have a higher impact that uh, compared to the uh, yeah to the load light effects, especially in Germany um, or in, in, in Spain. Um, yeah, and it uh, came up also um, that uh, um, uh, the brand C has a lower weak light losses at um, both locations. So this is comparable to the. Um, um, the results we had uh, on the previously slide. And um, now uh, let's come to the investigated uh, investigation um, with um, the shading situations. We applied uh, five different um, um, masks. Uh, the first one, this is, uh, should simulate the DOMA and it increase it in the sides in, uh, in both directions. Then the second um, uh, shading situation was the increasing shading along the right of the module. Then um, the third is increasing shading along the uh, uh, length of the module. So like this. Um, the fourth is increasing shading at the long edge. So the uh, shading must increase in that direction. And the uh, uh, fifth was similar to the third, but in the other direction. Um, here on this slide, you see um, the results uh, of the first three um, um, uh, shading uh, um, situations um, we applied. Um, the graphs are plotted here that you see the, uh, the Pmax um, uh, with, the sh with the mast on uh, relative to the Pmax um, unshaded. And uh, then here you see the, the shaded uh, module area uh, divided or relative to the um, uh, module area. And uh, on the first graph, um, you, we see here that um, uh, more or less all um, modules have the same behavior. So it's more or less independent of the electrical layout, but um, and there's a slightly better performance um, with the vertical string module, so this graph. Uh, at the say, uh, second shading situation, um, um, at the, uh, there we noticed that um, the, at the vertical string module, so brand A and uh, D, uh, the bypass diodes turned on um, uh, and reduced the, the power losses, what's good, so um, they work. Uh, Horizontal string modules uh, B and C and block uh, and uh, uh, design uh, G um, uh, perform better. Um, and on the on the third uh, shading situation, um, the, uh, the the horizontal string modules um, uh, and B and C out uh, in highly uh, power loss um, uh, while the um, the long um, strings um, or the, the, the what is it called the vertical strings um, it's a linear behavior uh, and the grand E with that uh, four blocking and four bypass diodes uh, we see yeah it's in the middle of those um, here we have the results of the shading uh, situations four and five. It's um, uh, the plots are similar to the uh, to the other ones, and um, we see on the fourth situation um, the we have a minor influence of increasing shading at the long edge uh, on vertical string modules uh, due to um, the parallel interconnection of the strings, and on the fifth uh, one. Uh, all, like, uh, all layouts uh, have shown more or less in less impact um, due to that shading, uh, increasing uh, mask, um, while um, the brand E and um, what was it? Um, uh, you have three more minutes. Okay, so understood. Just one thing. 
Uh, okay. Um, uh, um, the worst case uh, shading situations we had uh, with all um, parallel strings are uh, simultaneous covered, and the best performance showed um, uh, the brand E uh, with the um, uh, where with the four bypass diodes. Um, let's go to the reliability testing. Uh, here again, we applied the bending test, the mechanical law test, as well as the TC testing. And on that matrix, we see um, the, here uh, the different states and all the brands over here. And we notice um, um, at uh, bending tests or, um, or after bending tests, it doesn't have such a high influence, but we see on the um, uh, vertical str uh, module strings, uh, we see um, a high impact here and here um, on the um, on the solar cells, so we observe a couple of broken cells, and um, it becomes more worse by applying that four times TC um, 100. In worst case, we see the brand E uh, D here. Um, there we have bright spots, which means uh, uh, hot spots, as well as um, uh, bypass diodes turned on. And uh, if we go in detail, um, we have a problem with um, the uh with the um cell ribbon uh um interconnection here on the first cell and and we applied also mechanic field imaging um uh, here it's compared uh the electroluminescence images and uh, to uh that mechanic um, magnetic field imaging and we see the pass with a higher current density here we see the where the current flows it's quite interesting to see that and uh, also here where we um, another example um, but we in the l we don't see that so much uh, higher uh, or brighter regions but in that magnetic field imaging we see here um, um, there are some um, parallel or the current flows here in parallel so it seems to be there's an interconnection problem and and um, after uh, showing the electroluminescence images um, and let's go to the uh, view curve analyze here. Uh, VOC and IC is uh, relative shown to uh, the initial data. And so uh, we don't see any influences due to bending in L and TC testing. Uh, but if we have a look on the uh, Tmax and the uh, fill factor shown on the same way, uh, we see that brand E what has incredible um, uh, broken cells after ML and TC. And uh, we observed the parallels. Um, uh, up to uh, 80, uh, 38 percent, um, while also um, the brand B with the um, horizontal string, um, it starts to degrade after the uh, four times TC100. And we see the same uh, behavior in fill factor, which means uh, we have that interconnection problem. And uh, now I come to the summary. Uh, we tested um, five different commercial shingle PV modules. Um, we saw uh, two uh, weak light uh, uh, groups, but there's no uh, clear correlation between short springs and the better uh, weak light. And vice versa, um, the module uh, with the block electrical layout performs at best by shading with different masks. So a uh, smart position of the bypass diodes uh, was applied here. The bending test itself, it hasn't any major influence um, to, the, uh, to the cells. Uh, we noticed the major impact of the Michael, uh, mechanical law test um, especially uh, the um, vertical strings and the models of the vertical cell strings. Um, yeah, it can, uh, while the brand uh, B and C with the horizontal strings um, uh, showed quasi no um, um, uh, broken cells. So this could be uh, described with the force absorption um, of the ECA or the encapsulation material. Um, the thermal cycle test uh, lead to further cracking cells, especially uh, brand B and D, um, as uh, well as a couple of um, further damages. And we observed a power loss of 38%. Um, the interconnection um, is the weak point at shingled uh, modules. And so we need uh, high quality um, 
electrically conductive entities, as well as a uh, nice encapsulation or the module to, uh, design. And however, uh, some one of the brands has all this test. Okay, that's it. And yeah, uh, the project or the results we, uh, I showed you here was founded by the uh, European um, uh, Commission um, due to the uh, Horizontal 2020 program. Okay, thank you very much uh, for this uh, very nice presentation, Stefan. Um, uh, I see there is a question in the chat window. So the weak light performance seems to be conceptually worse than for standard cell interconnection. Any explanation? Um, yep, yes and no. Um, um, what could it be made this is uh, due to the uh, long strings or uh, the, um, let's say, the conductivity of the ECAs that we might have a problem here or um, uh, we have, might be, I pointed out um, uh, that we have uh, both cell cuts or um, um, the cells were cuts on both uh, edges that we have a um, short circuit here. Uh, uh, the next step would be we open the modules and have a deeper uh, look into the uh, cells and modules design. Okay, um, I think uh, there are a few more questions, so uh, please stay online and uh, would be nice if you can answer them in the chat directly. Um, you know, just uh, address to uh, all public, so not just to panelists, so that, you know, everyone sees uh, uh, these answers and thank you very much for your presentation you're welcome thank you